Good day, folks. It's me again. Well, for this afternoon's quick little rubbishy video, we're going to be looking at another lamp. Metal halide lamp. Nice big one. 1000 watts. General Electric. Made in the USA. Quite interesting, and I'll show you why now. And there she is. And she's a beauty. Nice big BT shaped outer envelope. Anyway, it's a General Electric Multi Vapor MVR 1000. Quite unusual to see in the UK, even though it has a E40 cap. These are normally run in America on nice big uh, auto transformer ballasts, as this is a high voltage lamp. What I mean by that, I mean by the arc voltage is 255 volts with an arc current of 4.2 amps. Now, normally in Europe and the UK, our 1000 watt metal halide lamps, we normally run them on 240 volt mains, so they have an arc voltage of about, say, 120 volts, and the arc current is about 9 amps. So, if you're going to run this in the UK, you'd have to run it on a high voltage choke between two phases on 415, so 415 volts that is. So, anyway. The specifications are as follows. It has a lumen output of 108,000 lumens if you burn it vertically. If you burn it horizontally, that decreases to just over 100,000 lumens, which is still bright. The server's life is 15,000 hours if you burn it vertically, and that decreases to only 11,000 hours if you burn it horizontally. Anyway, the color temperature is 4,000 degrees Kelvin with a color rendering index of 65%. It was made in March of 2011 in the USA. Anyway, I'm sure you're all bored right now. What you really want to see is it being fired up. So, one moment please. I'll just go and grab my very heavy ballast box out. Energizing in three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Very nice. See how diffused the arc is when it first starts up. Of course the voltage is very low, probably about 20 volts when it starts. And uh, oh, just going to adjust the variable ND filter so we can see what's going on. Oh, too much. You should see the uh, halides start to melt and evaporate. Starts off quite blue, but obviously when the halides join the discharge mix, it will slowly become a lovely cool white. Bit more ND. Isn't actually much of an arc bow. Bit more ND. That's on maximum ND8 now. Quite an interesting view. I think I'm going to pause, and when the lamp is at full power. We'll have a look at what it looks like then. One moment please, as the great Clive says. Right, so there's the lamp at full power. It's quite bright. It's a lovely cool white and the colour rendering is pretty reasonable. You can see the colours of the mantle. And uh, it's actually a lot thinner towards the electrodes rather than in the middle and yeah it's uh, beautiful I love looking at metal halide arc streams when I first fired this lamp up it was quite uneven all the halides was on one side and the other was quite blue but as you can see there I've run it several hours and it's stabilized quite well yeah that's you never get bored of looking at stuff like this. 
But anyway, let's uh, change the angle and see if we can have a look at one of the electrodes. Won't be very sharp because obviously we're looking through quite a bit of glass, but we'll see what we can do. Right, I've uh, managed to move the camera over a bit so we can see one of the electrodes. It's not the best view because obviously we're looking at an angle through the outer envelope and also the thick arc tube, so it's not the sharpest, but you can sort of see what's going on. Do you think that electrode's hot? <laughs> That's a pretty interesting view of the uh, arc stream. Yeah, so... Anyway, hope you found that interesting. If you're still here, that is. If there's anyone still watching, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.